Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to create a setup file using Visual Studio 2022. This setup file allows us to install all applications created using C Sharp, VB.NET, and C++. So first, let's create the application that we want to install later on Windows. So let's click on Create a new project. Now let's create a new application using C Sharp. So for the language, let's select C Sharp. And for the project type, let's select Desktop. And here let's select Windows Forms app. Let's click on Next. So for the project name, I will call it Stock Management. Now let's click on Next. And let's click on Create. Now the project has been created. And by default, it contains this interface. So we can change it. Now let's save this application. And also we can change the version of this application. For example, let's select release. Now let's run it. And we obtain this interface. Now I will show you how to create the installer file for this application. So first we need to install a new extension. So let's go to Extensions, then Manage Extensions. And here let's type Installer. So here we need to install this extension. It is called Microsoft Visual Studio Installer Projects 2022. Let's click on it, then let's click on Download. So here we can see that the installation will start once we close Visual Studio. So let's close this window and also let's close Visual Studio. So this window appears and the installation will start. In this window, let's click on Modify. And we need to wait till the end of the installation. Now the extension is installed correctly, so let's close this window. And let's start Visual Studio. So let's select our previous project. And now we need to add a new project to this solution. So the project that we need to add is of type Installer Project. So let's make a right click on the solution name. Then Add. Then New Project. So in this window, let's remove C Sharp from this field. Let's do the same thing for desktop. Let's select all project types. And in the search field, let's type setup. So here we have this option. It is setup project. Let's select it and let's click next. So here we have to provide the project name. I will call it stock management setup. So it will be saved on the same folder as our previous project. Now let's click on Create. So here we can see that our solution contains two projects, our application and the setup project. And here we obtain this interface. So we can see that we have three folders. So in our case, we need to add this application to this application folder. And we need to add a shortcut to this folder. And also we need to add a shortcut to this third folder. So these three folders, we can see them in this Explorer area. So first, let's select this folder. So for the moment, it is empty. We need to make a right click, then Add, then Project Output. So here we have to select Publish Items. Also for the configuration, we need to select Active. And now let's click on OK. So this item has been added. Now we need to add an icon to this project. So the icon should have the ICO extension and will be used to create the shortcuts. So let's download an icon. So let's go to the browser. And here let's type Free Icons ICO. Then we can go to this first link. And in this window, we can click here, for example. 
then we can download this icon so here let's select the resolution we can select uh, this uh, resolution also we need to select this extension which is ICO now let's click on download ICO and now we need to save this file so I will save it in the pictures folder let's click on save and let's add it to this project so let's make a right click then add then file let's go to pictures and let's select this file let's click on open now this file has been added and now we can create a shortcut to our application so let's make a right click on this item then create shortcut and we have to provide it with a name I will call it stock management then we have to provide it with the icon so let's go to its properties and here in the icon let's provide the icon so our icon is available in the setup project so let's click on browse and let's select application folder then we have this icon so let's select it and let's click on ok then let's click on ok so this shortcut has been created and we need to move it to the desktop folder so let's make a right click then cut let's go to the user's desktop then right click then paste now let's create a new shortcut that we will add to this folder so let's go back to the application folder then right click on this item then create shortcut let's call it stock management and let's provide it with the icon so in the properties let's go to icon let's click on browse then browse then application folder and let's select this icon then ok then ok now right click on this shortcut and cut let's go to programs menu then right click then paste now we need to modify some properties of our setup project so let's select it and let's go to the properties so here we can change the author then we need to change the manufacturer so this is the manufacturer let's change the value and let's press enter now we need to create the setup file so let's make a right click on this setup project then build so here we can see that the project has been built successfully now to obtain the setup file we have to make a right click on the setup project then open folder in file explorer so we have created the release version of the application so we need to go to this release folder so here we have these two files we have this setup file and we have this msi file the setup file is just a shortcut to this file so we can use either this file alone or also we can use this file which will start this second file so both files can be used to install our application so we can use this file for example so let's run it so we obtain this interface if I click on next I will obtain this default path where the application will be installed so here I can select everyone then let's click on next then next and here the installation finished successfully and also we have this shortcut of our application on the desktop so let's close this installer and let's use this shortcut to start our application and we obtain this application that we have already created now we can make a right click on this shortcut to find the location where the application is installed so let's make a right click then properties and let's copy this path then let's paste the path in this field 
So this folder is available on the C drive into program files into this folder, which is the manufacturer name. And finally, we have this folder, which is the name of the setup project. Now let's close this folder and we can also uninstall the application. So to uninstall the application, we have two options. We can either go to programs and features. So here we can see that we have this application and we can uninstall it. So let's click on uninstall. Then let's click on yes. And we can see now that the application has been removed from the computer. We can go back to the folder that contains the installer. So let's make a right click, then open folder in file explorer, and then release. And then we can install the application again. So let's double click on this file, then next. So we can accept this default path. Let's select everyone and let's click on next, then next. And now the application is installed correctly. So let's click on close. So the second option to uninstall the application is to run the installer a second time. So let's double click on this installer. And this time we have these two options. So if we want to remove the application from the computer, we have just to select remove and the name of the application. Now let's click on finish. And we can see that the application has been removed correctly.